Dolphins. They're reporting to camp. Jalen Ramsey, he has met with the media today. Mm, love that guy, man. Yeah, good character. You know what he would have been good on? Huh? Hard Knocks. I know, dude. Would have been so good. So good on Hard Knocks. I know. I'm so jealous. So good, dude. I'm jealous of it, dude. Yeah. I did see there was a fake tweet yesterday that said they had come up with season two of quarterback, mm. but apparently it was a lie. Like they had said nah. that it was Aaron Rodgers, Josh Allen, and Daniel Jones. Which who the really hell was three people that I yeah okay. I know well, right? it's, it's X. I mean fake X's, come whatever on, it is X. now. Yeah, what is it? See that just there's a whole anymore, thing, a know. culture they destroyed. They destroyed it. But either way, um, the uh, the Dolphins are reporting Jalen Ramsey. Would have been great on hard. Knocks. He's been on hard knocks, I believe, before. But uh, it's uh, right now. He says, uh, from Jay Verona's Twitter account, on the possibility of them adding Dalvin Cook. Quote: I always want to play on the same team as any of my friends or any elite player, but that's none of my business. Hmm. 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 He also said, "Quote: We're gonna get it. We're gonna put in the work." Okay, that's I like what he that. said. Pretty fangs good. up, and then he said fangs up. <laughs> I don't think he said. No, that. he said fangs up. To- <laughs> Did he? Okay, goosies. Uh, on being the top-rated cornerback in Madden, Jalen Ramsey said, "That's about right." <laughs> nice. Of course he did. Like <laughs> of course he did. Well, how about that? And then uh, I believe I saw a quote from Xavier Howard. Hold on, let me see if I get this from. Uh... I wonder what his rating was. Uh, I don't know. It's okay. I'll find out. All right. Xavier Howard from uh, uh, Marcel Louis Jacques ESPN on his Twitter account. Xavier Howard on if people are sleeping on him in 2023. His quote F him. Wow. That. I like that. That. That seems galore. Dude. You yeah. get him, X. X rated 80. You got your own website now. <laughs> <laughs> and now you go out and you, you say F him. Best tandem in the league, dude. Yep. So wait, he's an 84. What 84 is uh Madden. what is uh Ramsey? Well, he's the highest rated, like you mentioned, with a 97 overall. Wait nine, a nine it says nine cornerbacks received the rating of 90 overall or higher, which means according to Madden's ratings. X is not a top 10 corner. Wow. Look at that. He said, uh, I believe I'm a true number one corner. F you talking about. Wow. Woo. I like that. And then he was uh, asked. He was actually asked. Uh, he is a number one corner. He, he was asked about uh, Twitter rebranding into X. Yeah. Funny enough. And he was asked. He said, I don't even be on Twitter. Too negative on there. I noticed that's a big thing amongst uh, like. Athletes, I heard TVD say that this morning. Too negative. I don't do Twitter. Too much stuff over there. I, I He's don't. Right. Have I mean, Twitter is listen. It's the Wild West, and and yeah. listen, Threads is dried up. I don't know if you've been it's on. True. I haven't even been yeah. on Threads. Oh I completely God. forgot about. Yeah, it. Threads. Nice try, Zuckerberg. It was fun while it lasted. I mean, I think. See, honestly, I think Elon Musk just did this to mess with Zuckerberg and be like, "Look, I just made it a different website. I'm still beating you." You know? Yeah, but he's still ruining Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> every I mean, he, he is does. ruining Twitter. They're both ruining everything. Because I just never know when I'm logging into every day. But he, you know, I can't quit Twitter. I love Twitter now. I do love Twitter. Once everybody migrates to threads. Threads. We'll see. That's it, man. Everyone just thread it up. We'll all just thread together. Because there's more company. people. Is there more people on Instagram than Twitter? I think there are more people on Instagram than Twitter, but yeah. but, it, yeah. it, but it's got a Twitter weird algorithm. Been, but Twitter has been established for such a long time that people are still right. People don't like change, so it's going to be hard for yeah. them to actually migrate. The old, the old the don't old. like change. It's true. No, they don't. Yeah, the old don't like change. Uh, Dade South says that Tobin is <laughs> ex gravy and Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Point for Twitcher. <laughs> more creative. I like that all your nick, little nicknames. I like that yeah. uh, Xavier Howard's got a little bit of a you know, little little bit of a chip Edge. on his shoulder, you know. Yeah, for sure. And and this time it's not uh necessarily he's upset with the team. You know, he's not a contract holdout situation nope. that has this chip. It's like you guys are, you know, I'm I was injured last season and you guys don't respect me. And I think he deserves respect. 
He's my buddy. He has what? an icy shop in Miramar. Have you, you ever that? been there? I have. He's been to the improv. Yes, yes. He has been to the improv. Mm. Does We're he f- like Dan Soder? <laughs> I don't, I'll get him tickets, does he? <laughs> if you're listening right now. I don't know. He said that they're, they're pretty locked in. Mike McDaniel's not even going to show up. Miss McDaniel's going to be there. Mm. Mrs. McDaniel, but... uh, I think Mike McDaniel's going. I'll keep no, head. dude, you'd be pissed. Well, you'd what, what be the you first one commenting on it, you fraud. Oh, oh my goodness, what are uh, you doing? Listen, I got, I got eyes. I got, one. I have boots. Listen, I have boots on the ground. Frog boy will tell me. <laughs> You're gonna tell me if Mike McDaniel's at that show. Uh, yeah, and we're we not know where exactly NBA. he is sitting. Yeah, I will. I, and I want to know if he's a big snack time guy. And his drink order. I need to hear. I need to overhear he's how he ordered, orders. He's ordering a Chardonnay. No, well, he doesn't no. drink. Remember, doesn't he's drink he's uh, he's famously sober. He's, yeah, he's, he does. He doesn't drink. So mm. Shirley Temple, couple sure. Shirley Temple. That means so that means he has to order, at the improv. That means you have to order food if you don't order drinks. That's true. Well, you still have to. Ha- you have a two drink minimum. Yeah, you can so. get like two Fijis though. I'm, yeah. I'm sure we'll waive the two drink minimum for my McDaniel. I'm sure. Well, no, you better exactly not. You're gonna <laughs> I should. You better not waive the two drink minimum. <laughs> okay, you better right. be buying you a bunch of stuff. Especially yeah. since we found out he's a fake Heat fan now. Wow! Fake Heat fan Mike <laughs> McDaniel. Not, let oh. me tell you something. Let me tell you how that world works. You a fan of whatever team gets you free tickets to the finals. His friend is accusing him of being a hobnobber. You know? Okay. And he's now. his friend is jealous because he couldn't. He had an empty seat and he didn't invite him because he knew he, he was going to go. But, but wait. Mike McDaniel knows Dan. Right, they know each other really well. Yep, yep. And you know, Mike McDaniel's thinking, "Oh, if I invite him, he's gonna come here, and he's gonna do that Denver thing, and I can't get free tickets from the Heat and have a Denver fan sit next to me." Is Dan right? Soder right. sitting next to me? Goes, "Remember our thing, Mike, when we were kids? We th- <laughs> every time, every time a three pointer, we throw up a chicken nugget. We eat it. <laughs> oh, Denver." <laughs> Dude, oh. yeah yeah he made yeah. the right choice he made the right choice i appreciate his loyalty though. that's just like i would i would love the old foot doctor to come around so we can ask questions mm. about your youth i wouldn't like that yeah i did i did appreciate learning things about uh mike mcdaniel that i feel like i mean we knew but we never really heard he's been this way since seventh grade apparently right so like i tell people all the time that how how was um, Jim Harbaugh? And I'm like, he's the same dude. Just imagine a lineback- a quarterback trapped in a linebacker's body. He's been that intense all the time. So when I see him on the sideline, like I don't think anything of it because that's the only person I ever saw. Well, Jalen Ramsey's not sure if Dalvin Cook is going to be on the Dolphins. Mm. Dalvin Cook doesn't even sound sure if he's going to be on the Dolphins. This was Dalvin Cook. He was on the Rich Eisen show yesterday, and uh, this is what he has to say. He was asked about uh, all the teams in the AFC East seem to be perusing. He was even asked yesterday about joining Buffalo and his brother. Although, good on Dalvin. He says, I don't really want to go to Buffalo because I don't want to impede my brother. So I thought that was kind of cool. Nice. Um, But here was uh, Dalvin Cook on the contract status right now. And a lot of folks are targeting the AFC East for you. Um, yeah. vir- virtually every t- every team in the AFC <laughs> East is that is that uh, what you're targeting as well, Dalvin? Yeah, I, I, I think so. I think that's that's like really like a hot percentage for for my landing spot. You know, though I think I think those teams have showed a lot of interest in you know coming to pick me up and, and having me joining the team. So like I I think that's like a real high. Okay, and so um, where are you on this? Give me, give me a date by which you think you're gonna you're gonna sign, Dalvin. What do you have for me on that? I don't know. I, I I've been having this conversation with Zach every day, and it's just been like, you know, what's the best situation? Should I should I should I sign now? Like, I, we 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 really don't know the best option, but like, I feel like when the best option come on the table, I'm gonna take it as soon as he come on the table. So there, is there any truth to the the uh, uh, report that Miami had something on the table for you and you just uh, you didn't bite at it, Dalvin? I didn't know. No, that wasn't. Okay. That wasn't true. All right. So there's there has been no no nothing on the table for you. They, it's ongoing. It's it's ongoing with with my agents and 
and, and everybody. Like it's they they going through their whole negotiation thing, doing their thing, and uh, yeah, I'm letting them take care of that. There you go, Dalvin Cook on the Rich Eisen show yesterday. I'm actually uh, relieved after hearing that. So. What we heard about the Dolphins offering something. Now, here's what I would say of how that works, right? They'll call your agent and say, you know, what are you looking for? Or, you know, this is what we have we can offer. And they say no. But that doesn't mean you're in a contract negotiation, right? That just means that they may have put something out there. Just Let's to see just if say, you would bite, it doesn't mean that they were serious. Let's just say theoretically, like Dalvin's looking for eight million. They say we'll offer him five, you know, right. something like that. That's not a contract offer. It, it technically, technically, it is. But say if they, if if Dalvin Cook's representatives come back and say, you know, we'll take six and a half with incentives to get us to eight, right? And then the Dolphins don't reply or the Dolphins don't call it. So you, you never really get into it. And although there was a primary offer, like I know teams that offer a lot of players contracts just to see if they will bite. Do you think that, see, like, here's where I do think that this goes against Dalvin coming to Miami is because Mike McDaniel has such a good relationship with his two backs already. And they oh, have. I think been... somebody somebody said something about that when this started. You haven't. You, didn't, you don't know what I'm doing yet. Then, yes, then, I do. Oh, you don't know. What yes, I'm doing I do. You, 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 you. So, so we, we agree. No, so no, we, we agree. Well, kind of. We but like, no, 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 no. We agree. I haven't agree. Agree. Mike, yet. Mike McDaniel is loyal to his two guys he's that he convinced to come back. Yeah, I don't think okay. he's loyal to them, but I think that the loyalty probably is like, hey, I'm not going to play games with my guys during camp, right? Like, I do think that there has to be some degree. Dalvin Cook has to be like, hey, decision by COB first practice or no deal skis because I, I don't want to screw my guys around. Because he that does is, that is the definition of loyalty. Yeah, but like I think loyalty, <laughs> like that you know, is, as, as you, we've if seen you his, say, if you say you have it to this day because I don't want to screw over my guys, that's loyalty. But as we've seen with his basketball loyalties, they can be massaged. Now that we have a little insight into McDaniel, you know? Come on. <laughs> Using this against just, him. Just, just, I knew he was faking it, dude. Uh, like, the whole time. Uh, just, that just, wait. just admit you agree with me. You no, I don't agree with you. You, <laughs> you actually said the same exact thing I said. Nah, not really, though. Not really. Oh, my goodness. Because I'm moving, I'm making it as a different point. Like, samesies, but not really. Different timelines. Isn't samesies the same version of agreeing? It's it's in the neighborhood. Like, you agree on it from, like, a principle of, like, the whole football thing. I'm talking about specifically camp. You know, when you get to a point where I don't want to mess with my guys in camp. The you matters. have lost your mind this time. You literally have said the same exact words that I said and I didn't say no, have... but it's different context. Yeah, I, exactly. It's different context. I don't no! think 